Nothing stopped Prosecutor Mary Kellett from forcing this case to go forward through abuse of her position of trust and power as a state prosecutor. An angry victim of misconduct by a prosecutor makes his point before a Maine Supreme Court justice and in return receives an apology from that justice. And um, I, I do apologize on behalf of the state of Maine for your first trial. Vladek Filler was convicted of gross sexual assault in that first trial, prosecuted by Assistant District Attorney Mary Kellett. Filler has consistently maintained that his wife fabricated the rape allegation in an attempt to gain custody of their two children as their marriage deteriorated. This has destroyed my life, my reputation. It has ruined me and my entire family financially. Filler was granted a retrial by the Maine Supreme Court. In that second trial, he was found guilty of the lesser charge of assault and acquitted of rape. During her prosecution of the first trial, the bar panel found that comments Kellett made during her closing argument were prejudicial against Filler and that she failed to turn over at least two key pieces of evidence to the defense. She now admits those mistakes. I want to acknowledge that I made errors in the prosecution of the Vladek Filler case. I accept full responsibility for my misconduct, and I regret the harm that my mistakes caused. Filler pushed to have Kellett disbarred, but the judge accepted an agreement calling for a 30-day suspension. Kellett's attorney says it's the first mistake she's made in a career prosecuting more than 10,000 criminal cases. During the 10 plus years that she's worked as a prosecutor, she's been a faithful and dedicated public servant. While Mary Kellett does have the mark of being suspended against her, she will not actually have to serve that suspension. That's because the judge suspended it. That means she will be able to continue her work as a prosecutor with the district attorney's office. In Portland, Chris Rose, New Center.